Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to install WordPress in cPanel. So let's get started. So we are going to do this in three simple steps. In the first step we are going to log into our cPanel and in the second step we will install WordPress in our cPanel account and in the third step we are going to do some basic WordPress settings. So let's get started with the step one. Now in order to log into your cPanel account just go to your search bar into your domain name and then type slash cPanel next to it and hit enter. So in this way we will be redirected to our cPanel login page. Here we need to enter our cPanel username and password. You can find this username and password on your email that you have used to purchase web hosting and domain. So after that just click on login and now we are in the cPanel dashboard and from here we are going to install WordPress. Now from the cPanel dashboard scroll down to software section and then from the software section click on WordPress manager by Softaculous, the first one. Just click on it. Here you can see your previous WordPress installations and also you can install WordPress on your new domain from here. So in order to install WordPress just click on the install button the first one. So here you need to do some installation settings. At first we are going to do software setup. At first we are going to choose our domain name. So the first section is for the protocol and from here we are going to select HTTPS. The third one you can only choose HTTPS if you have purchased SSL from the web hosting provider. After the protocol we will select our domain. If you have only one domain in your web hosting then it will be automatically selected. As you can see that I have only one domain name and it is automatically selected. If you have more than one domain then you can select it from the drop down. As WordPress is already installed on my main domain so now I am going to install it in the directory. So I will give a name to the directory like uh, I will set it to new website. So from the next tab you can choose your WordPress version. I will go with the latest one. So next is our admin account setting. Please be careful while setting your admin username and password because this admin username and password will be used later on to access your WordPress dashboard. Here you need to enter your admin username, admin password and then admin email. So I will enter my admin username, password and email here and then we will go to the next step. As you can see that I have added my details for the admin account. You can also do site settings from here like you can set the name of your website and also you can set the site description from here. I will leave both of them from here as it is because we can easily change them from our WordPress dashboard. So next is choose language section. From here we can set the language of our WordPress website and after that we will choose the plugins that we want to install on our WordPress website. So I will uncheck all these plugins from here because I can easily install WordPress plugins from the WordPress dashboard. After the plugins we can also select the theme for our WordPress website from here but I am not going to select any theme from here because we can easily install WordPress themes from the WordPress dashboard. So now scroll down to the bottom of the page and here you will see email installation details too. Here you can enter your email address and you will receive all the installation details on your email. So now we are done with all the settings and now we are going to click on install button. It will take a little bit time to install WordPress on our domain. As you can see that WordPress is successfully installed on our domain and now we are going to see our website whether it's working or not. So if we click on the first link it will take us to our website. As you can see that our website is working fine. So now if I click on the second link it will take us to our WordPress website dashboard and from here we can do all the settings for our website. So now we are going to do some basic WordPress settings. From the left menu just click on settings and then click on journal. From here you can change your WordPress website title, tagline, language and time zone etc. 
so after doing these settings now click on reading tab from here we can set the home page of our website whether you want latest posts on your website or you want a static page on your website so if you want to set static page on your website then choose this radio icon a static page and then you can select your home page from here also you can set the blog pages show at most settings from here so you can set maximum of 10 blog posts on your website or 11 or 12 whatever you want and also you can set your blog post setting from here you can show the full text on the main page so our next important setting is permalink setting so now i will click on this permalink section so this is the setting that we are going to do for permalinks it's a post name setting because it is recommended by google and other search engines so i will click on this permalink post name and then we are going to click on save changes so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching the video.